Hey guys, Brent Sibley, Sibley Dolman, accident injury attorneys. And today I'm gonna to talk about insurance and how it plays a role in your personal injury case, but not quite the role you think. So obviously everyone in America knows how important insurance is. It dictates you know, the repairs to your home, your medical treatment, your health insurance, and of course, car accident cases. In Florida, however, the way that the insurance works is not quite what you think because most of the time in Florida, the crash is caused not by a company vehicle or a company or an insurance company person, but it's just an ordinary person on the road who is looking at their phone who crashed into you. And why does this matter? The reason this matters in Florida is because even if this person has insurance for your injuries, which by the way, they're not required to, there's another video that I made about Florida drivers do not have to carry insurance for injuries they cause you. But forgetting that for the time being, Florida drivers that carry insurance for injuries against that they cause you, the reason it's important to know how this works is because when you go after this person, you cannot go after their insurance company. You can only go after them. Technically speaking, the insurance company has not done anything wrong. All they did was sell a policy of insurance to this driver, and then this driver was a negligent driver who crashed into you. So we have clients all the time that say, why can't we sue the insurance company? Most of the times when this happens is we find out how much insurance there was for the negligent driver and it comes back at a very low level because in Florida you do not have to you do not have to purchase very high injury liability insurance and our clients might say to us well we can't, can't we just go after the insurance company you know that's the person the company that sold the insurance to this person and it makes kind of sense but it also doesn't make sense and of course it's not legally allowed we're not allowed to go after the insurance company for the negligence of the in, the person who bought the insurance policy now that makes pretty good sense if you think about it logically. Of course, what is what has the insurance company done wrong? They haven't done anything wrong. The person who was driving has done wrong. They bought insurance. You're, you're allowed to collect up to the maximum amount of insurance that they purchased to protect themselves. Now where it gets really interesting is if you, when you have to make a claim, you can only make a claim against that person. And even though the insurance company, and we'll just use Geico today, so Joe Schmo crashes into you and he has Geico, even though Geico is going to be paying for the lawyers to represent Joe Schmo, and he, they're going to be hiring the expert witnesses, they're going to be paying for the costs of the litigation, they're going to be making the offers of the settlement, they're basically completely in charge. Joe Schmo, all he does is show up for his deposition and leave. He doesn't even know what's going on in his case. Geico is basically doing everything. Even though that's true, we cannot even name Geico in the lawsuit. We have to completely ignore Geico and go against Joe Schmo only. Okay, still kind of makes sense because again, this goes back to the idea that Geico hasn't done anything wrong. All they did was sell the insurance policy. Now where it gets really interesting is when we actually have to go to trial against Joe Schmo for the injuries that he caused you when he crashed into you. Of course, the, the attorneys that are representing Joe Schmo are Geico, uh, they're employees of Geico most of the time, not always, but most of the time in Florida. Uh, the paralegals are employees of Geico. The expert witnesses aren't necessarily employees of Geico, but they're most of the time expert witnesses that Geico has used thousands and thousands of times that they've paid millions there's one doctor that we know that has made $5 million one year from one specific insurance company. So basically they're, you know, they're, they're in cahoots with each other too. It's all ethical, but it is what it is. But what it boils down to, what's very interesting is when we go to trial and we present our case to the jury, not only are we not allowed to tell the jury, not only are we not allowed to name Geico in the lawsuit, but we're not even allowed to tell the jury that there is insurance for the case. You heard me. When we go to trial and we present our case to the jury and we ask them to decide how much poor, poor Jane, her case is worth, 
they are not allowed this is absolutely clear in the law and the judges and the lawyers agree um we are not even allowed to tell the jury if joe schmo has insurance for the injuries yep and this is you know very important a couple years ago the big law firm of morgan and morgan made a commercial about this topic because they wanted to get it out there and make everybody aware that um we only take cases against people with insurance so you know the insurance in your case is obviously very important 99.99 99.99 percent of the times your injury lawyer and this is the way we practice too we are limiting your case to we're looking at the amount of insurance that we can recover from we are not trying to put people into bankruptcy and take their assets and take their home we are focused on the insurance that is available at the time but it's very important to realize that when we push your case all the way to the brink and we present the case to the jury we are not even allowed to tell the jury that there is insurance, which has the effect of a lot of times we've interviewed jury people after the trial and they've told us that they didn't wanna, they didn't wanna give a huge verdict, even though maybe they thought the case was worth a lot because they didn't wanna put Joe Schmo into bankruptcy. And if they gave a verdict of $1 million, they were worried that Joe Schmo might go bankrupt and it might ruin his life. And they didn't think that that was appropriate Um, just for rear-ending somebody. So just because there is insurance, just because there's sufficient insurance, doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be able to get full value from the insurance company for your case. This is a little bit of a wrinkle, it's a subtlety, and um, I hope it's a, I hope it's an interesting tidbit that people that have personal injury cases or have had them in the past, you know, help you understand about how to value your case because in most of the times, when you have a case, the jury will not even know about the insurance. They won't know the name of the company. They won't know how much their insurance policy limits are. And they definitely won't even know if there is insurance or not at all, even though half the people in the courtroom are employees of an insurance company. Again, Brent Sibley, Sibley Dolman Accident Injury Attorneys. I hope this video was helpful, guys. Have a great day.